Hello there, I'm Username Classified, aka Username Classified. Uh, we're gonna be doing a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot. I'm very excited to do this one because, well, it was actually my very first game that I've ever played. It dates back to maybe 90, 97. Uh, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know how I played it at such a young age, but I did. And I kind of love, I love this game. It's amazing. And, well, I have a lot of stories to tell you about this game. And, well, just playing it gives me little nostalgic buzzes. And there's going to be some sort of idle pose I want to show off to you. Just wait till he does this a few times. Come on, Crash. Do your stuff. Sorry about this, but I just want to show it off. Uh, two more times. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna be on my way. Basically, he uh, throws Wumpa fruits in the air and then he splatters it on himself. I don't know. You might see it some someday. I might show it off. I was planning on doing a maskless run of this game. But I don't know if I should. I don't know, because I might screw up a lot. As you know, I screw up quite, a f quite frequently in, in other platform LPs. But I might do this one uh, without a mask. If you ask me to, I'll do the rest of the game without the mask. Until, up in this point, until I get a comment saying that people want me to do it without the mask, I'm doing it with the mask. Oh, I fell off there. Right up there, Crash. I got some business to do. So I might as well tell you the story. Uh, basically, uh, Cortex, oh this man named Cortex, he's the evil guy, and his sidekick, Embryo. Uh, obvious pun on Embryo. And, uh, uh, and they've uh, tried to use Crash as an, as an experiment some weird project, and they stole his girlfriend, because Crash got away, and they're gonna use tests on her, so, uh, basically they have to save her, very unoriginal plot, but, you know, it's not the plot that matters in a platforming game, it's, it's the gameplay, the gameplay is really amazing in this game, and even the graphics for this time, they even look like, I can even compare this game to the GameCube gra style graphics. What have I got? It's so great. Uh, well, maybe GameCube is stretching it a bit, but it's definitely better than the than the 64 graphics. Uh, the PS1 actually only had 32 bits of graphics for the graphics, and uh, well, this game worked well with what with they had. Oh, telephone. Yeah, uh, funny story today, uh, the power turned off, I don't know, yeah, the power went off, I don't really know how that's funny and all, but, yeah, so each episode I'm gonna do one level, only one level, so I'll see you guys next time, bye bye